CRTV News with Rigobe Maniga. According to the Constitution of Cameroon, the President of the Republic is bound to ensure the unity and indivisibility of the country. This is part of the oath he takes on the day of the swearing-in ceremony. A political desk editor, Albert Njembonde, says defending the unity and indivisible character of Cameroon is a vow President Paul Bia took, which is a debt he owes the Cameroonian people. To understand President Paul Bia's obligation towards the unity and indivisibility of Cameroon, liking Cameroon to a football team whose coach is the head of state. Before accepting the job of coach, he swore before the Cameroonian people represented at the National Assembly to be a guarantor of a one and indivisible Cameroon. If he does that, his team is winning and the team's supporters who are Cameroonians will find delight in that. Paul Bia's coach defines the game plan and the players or call them military officers who will animate the game. Depending on the nature of his team's opponents, he knows when to defend and attack and who are his defenders, midfielders and strikers. On March 5, through a presidential decree, he made major changes. Amongst them is Colonel Beburaka, who has taken command in Ebolova, Colonel Eyenga, who goes to Boya. Other senior military officials go to Ngaundere, Betwa, Kuseri, and Bamenda. The opponents may be different, but their mission is the same. Disturb the peace and tranquility of Cameroon and Cameroonians through separatist actions in Anglophone Cameroon, transborder crimes in the East region, Boko Haram insurgency in the far north. But like the indomitable lions, the impossible is not Cameroonian, and by appointing these players or military officials in the defense of our fatherland he is sure that at the very end victory will be assured for a one and united cameroon is an oath a president of the republic of cameroon must take a debt he owes the cameroonian people so says the constitution of the republic of cameroon albert Njembonde.